pulled up. And uh, anyway, that is six thirteen ranking. Yeah, when, we're rating. Wasn't his rating higher at the last event? I guess maybe he gets sniped a lot or something. But well, the game but was just blitz. started. That was blitz. That was blitz. Oh, okay. That was blitz. blitz. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Say it. Because at the rapid, we see it's nine twenty four, and it's actually higher than it was. Um, yeah. I think yeah. it was like maybe seven seven thirty, seven fifty. I thought so. He's actually improved quite a bit too. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip the board here to have white on bottom, and uh, we've uh, we're we're rocking and rolling. Game is on. We have D four. So Queen's pawn. We had all E four yesterday, Hikaru. Or no, we have one English, but this is our first D four. I think of the event. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's going to be interesting because I feel like XQC has a lot less experience against pawn to d4 on move one. And the fact that he's thinking already on move two is um, is not a good sign, I'd say. <laughs> okay. when, when should you start thinking? Because I think, yeah, d4 is, I think, is total cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so what I would say is a lot of newer players who are beginners, they will push the pawn in front of the king right away. It's much more natural, the development of bringing the queen and bringing the bishop out. Um, whereas playing pawn to d4 on move one, it tends to lead to a slower opening opening phase of the game. And so I, what I would say, even at this level, is they should know their first like five to six moves, is what I would say. And yeah, he's thinking for a while here. This is... Um, yeah, that's that 20 hour. He's been up for 20 hours. I feel like, have, have we not known there's studies that being awake for very long periods <laughs> of time is as bad as being drunk, like severely <laughs> drunk. Yeah, no, it's 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 worse. It's it's worse in many in many ways. Um, is this cheese? Well, right he here? played knight f six and Finton though. I, again, I have th all three of my students are going down today, so I highlighted the next matches Waga and Thor. But I also work with Finton, and unfortunately, he already forgot one of my first tips, which was that when you play this opening, they need to protect with a pawn because if not, they've basically given you your goal of the big center when they play the move two knight f six. And I said the main thing you do is you just take it. Unfortunately, he forgot. He didn't take it, which would have given him his better chances of a big pawn center, and now he's played knight c3. So just, that's, sorry, the coach and me taking over. My, my bad. Sure, sure. Mad at your students. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, it'll be, but now, it'll be... now it's turned into a normal opening. Like, that's the yeah. thing. If XUC had moved the pawn on the second move, we could have had this from the normal order. Yeah. Um, but Danny, since you did coach easy with aces, I think this is transposed back into a position that probably you've shown him yep. before, right? Yeah, so 100%. The transposition happens because, as Hikaru said, E6 it. is the move that should get there. But Fenton missed his small chance, and now we're in a main line queen's game. We went over this. I mean, he knows. Fenton knows. Get the pieces out. You know, you're all right. Has you're XQC all right. received any coaching from you, Hikaru? Um, no, I reached out to him multiple times, but uh -huh. I, I think he was kind of busy with uh, Among Us and Fall Guys, so yeah, and didn't have a chance. <laughs> how does he? How is he able to squeeze it in when he's playing Among Us for eighteen hours versus? <laughs> I mean, he must. He must just really love chess. At the end of the day, is um, he? Is he playing in the Fall Guys event with you guys on the twenty eighth or no? He is in that event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a captain. Mm -hmm. it, is he on your team, Hikaru? You get to be his captain? No, no, he, he's a captain as well. So, uh, like, I, I'm a captain, and he's a captain. Ludwig, I think, is a captain also, so... We'll all be Ludwig. rivals at that event against each other. Although, right, that would exactly. be a dream team. Imagine Hikaru, me, you, XQC. <laughs> oh, my God, that would be so bad. <laughs> All right, we've got our first awkward move. It's not a bad developing move normally, but... Oh, he's going for cheese. He's going for the cheese. Danny, you got to show the line on the board. So, pawn takes pawn. Yeah. Pawn takes pawn, knight takes pawn, and you think white's going to win a queen. But there's this bishop b4 Ludwig, what's shot. the move? What's the move here? What's the move right here for the move right black. here for black? Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right here in this spot, black obviously going to grab that bishop. <laughs> bring him so the... on down to b4. Wow. You're crushing it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this, that's what I'm saying. So then obviously in that spot... Uh, it, Scary, okay. scary, scary cheese on its way. Fenton did not take it. He did not take the bait. I'm not even sure if he saw the cheese, but he just settles on eliminating the knight, and now he could win the pawn. Um, it's got some risk to it, but he could go for it. Yeah, I mean, objectively, taking this pawn would be very good. I kind of hope he doesn't grab this pawn because he has not developed any of the pieces next to his king. The bishop, the knight, and the rook are all in their original squares. Yeah. Um. So I kind of hope that he doesn't grab this pawn after xqc recaptures with his pawn but it's it's gonna i think this is exactly what xqc wants which is something that at the start of the game is probably not very good but it's going to be very very complicated and there almost certainly will be some blunders yeah so so what do you know about xqc then he likes the tactics that's what you're implying there mm -hmm. he, lo okay. he loves these open positions where he can bring his pieces out very quickly and attack 
Okay. Um, why don't we do our first listen in of the day? We've got him streaming, and we'll all we'll all take a back seat and see what see what insights he's uh, he's given his viewers over there. This... He's gonna scam me. I have to do this first. This is so bad. <gasps> yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, no, no. In the event of this happens, I, if I push this and he, get, and he goes away, let's say he goes away. Uh-oh. He, he, he goes away. Did you say in the event? This is like the most proper I've ever heard nah. him speak. <laughs> He doesn't see that the knight is attacking the queen right now. You know what? Let's just try it. Wait, no, my, my queen's in danger. I didn't even look at that. Okay. Oof. Wow, that could have been game ending. Where do I position that lady? Where do I position that lady? There you go. I think this is, this is fine. A dogger. I don't, I get it. I get it. <laughs> that is the question. This is pretty cool. No, it's not. I'll do that. I, I don't like that this is all stacked up. I think this is garbage. At least he can't do this to me anymore. Okay. We got that. We got this out of the way. And I can start moving, doing stuff like this. Look at that. Why is it going there. so fast? Not that it matters, but that's a good move, E4. Is what so is happening? Do I want that? I can't want that. I don't think he wants that. Not exactly. He's already way down on, on time, though. He's yeah. down more than five minutes already, almost. So yes. The rush Do I want that? Moves. The pawn can just pass you, right? Stress out the queen. Well, well no. then you lose your knight. That's actually why it's a good move. Oh. Sure. No, it's terrible. Because the pawn protects the knight, so if he moves the pawn, you take Every time I look at somebody that knows what... Uh, 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 every time I look at somebody who knows how to play, their pawns look like art. They're so big. When I play, my pawns look like. <laughs> <laughs> like they're missing arms and legs, dude. So true, though. Like Mr. Potato from um, the movie, dude. A Toy Story or whatnot. <laughs> That's actually not untrue, though, Hikar. Like, when you look at a, at a master play, their pawns are like structured. Mm -hmm. There's a shape, right? And he's That's like, true. yeah, saying? yeah. He He's, yeah. he's right about that. It does look like art. The pawns where they protect each other, they all make a lot of sense in terms of the place. What, what do your pawns look like when you play, Blood? You know what? I try to just advance all of them at the same time equally. So they're all next to each other. Like, it's a small world style. <laughs> I think that's the safest strat. That's generally, that, that is generally a good way to do it. Yeah. Because here, like, both players with the placement of where their pawns are in the center part of the board, there's a lot of danger, I think, um, for, for both sides here. Because white's pawns can be attacked easily, black's pawn as well, and f5, it's a little bit weak as well. Are you stressed about his clock? I'm seeing a, a lot bit. of yet clocks. I, yeah, I, I mean, this is this is really dangerous. He's got to move faster. He just keeps thinking way too long. He hasn't like thought about an attack either. But this is that, the best move. So he yeah, that a was good a move. good move. And Hikaru made a good point that okay, a big center is nice, and you have space, but it's also a, a target, and that and you got to give. Gotta give XQC some credit. He's been attacking it. We'll see what he does here. Let's uh But he's gotta he's gotta move. He's just gotta move. Yeah. Let's check in with Finton. We haven't we haven't seen what the poker master's up to yet. Let's do it. Just wanna get ourselves castled. Control as much of the center and don't give up any silly mistakes. When do we go Maniac 2000? If we win the first game and then lose the second one, we're kinda of left with some egg on our face, but a little mini rave would be nice. We also have this potentially no, but then this would be hanging, so maybe not. We're just gonna get castled. I mean, the the, the bow tie is cute. Say that. 
Yeah, he looks like the student who asks for homework country. if the teacher forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to win with a checkmate, but if he times out, yeah, he maybe, does. like I said, he's been awake for 20 hours. Possibly he passes out. Were you the student who asked for homework? <laughs> wow. He knows. He knows about the sleep deprivation. Okay. This position, though, is does. not clear at all here after Black Castle's the king. This is very, very We want to just get castled before we plan our attack. I think we'll just get castled. We'll just start bringing these pieces over here. Okay. Um, look at look at XQC developing okay. quickly. He's clearly aware of the clock. He's speeding up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So how are we gonna attack? I, I don't know. I would rather be blocked. Do you want to move our queen and line up our rooks? But I'm kind of tempted to just start running these. I'm up just the looking board. at Finton's stream, and he's like, he's definitely the six so consoles type of streamer. First. These are like polar Maybe. opposites. Yeah. He's got mm -hmm. the green screen and the overlay looks like it's a chess.com production. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Just a six consoles thing, Danny. <laughs> um, yeah, Fintan is, is super slick. And like I said, I always try to describe the biggest streamer on Twitch. He just rolls out of bed. There you go. But this I, I mean, I'm amazed by what, is a, what has occurred, by the way. Because I, I don't think white is even better anymore. Yeah, I agree. Love it. Because, because like Ludwig, for example, when you get these, these pawns in the center, if they're uh -huh. protecting each other, they make a lot of sense. But here, the pawns are not secure at all. The pawn on the dark square is under attack from the knight and the bishop, yep. and the pawn on e4 is also under attack from the pawn f5. So white could lose the whole center here very quickly. Do you see it's, any major attacking ideas from either side? Um, I see obvious sort of ideas to attack the pieces in the center of the board for XQC for sure. For easy with aces for Fenton, I don't actually see any good ideas to attack here. Um, he's try. I like the idea though of moving the queen out. Yeah, the bar you're, went you're... down a lot. Why? Because black can move the king over one square, and then the threat is okay. So for example, there's a big mistake here, which would be instead of moving the king over, uh, go back one move. Black can play knight takes pawn. Because after queen takes white is attacking, but for example, your the queen is under attack from the bishop. I see. On the light square. So if black moves the king over, scoots it over one square first, then the threat of capturing the pawn with the knight and then attacking the queen with the bishop on the light square is a very strong threat. Yep. And Okay. But this probably won't come up, I'm thinking. Oh. Probably not. Oh, he makes the mistake. Oh, he, goes for it. oh, he oh wow. I mean, and it's it stinks because on the one hand, it's actually good tactical recognition. He saw the idea right. of the queen, he understood he could win the pawn. But it's it's hard. It's like the the next the next level is yeah. See the tactical recognition, but you got to visualize it ahead of time. And and now if, if easy Vincent finds this, he immediately he's in big saw it. He did immediately drag up the line to a seven. Oh, he did. Uh, okay, but he didn't see it as like a goaded move. It feels like he kind of saw it, and then he's looking at the rest of the board right now. Right. So I would say if Fenton plays queen takes pawn, he almost certainly is going to win this game. If he does not take the pawn, I think it's very very likely he's going to lose this game. Well, it's funny, Akora, too, is it is almost tricky enough that if, if XQC sees he can grab the knight with check, meaning he doesn't he doesn't panic of this and actually lose the knight, like, if he sees mm -hmm. this and then frees his king, he's not, he's not, I mean, it's not over over, right? There are some outside chances that the game goes on here. He has had the queen Oh, he over. took the pawn, oh, right? He did, it. he did it. He had it there uh -oh. for, like, 20 seconds before he finally pulled the trigger. But if, but if XQC sees knight takes f3 with check... And then freeze the checkmate. It's not. It's not red rover yet. I mean, he still has some chances. No, but it's very hard with two two minutes on the clock. The time is going down. Yeah. I I don't. I mean, I it's, I think it's very hard for him to play knight takes knight here because he's going to be so he's going to be so um yeah, so tunneling rattled. on this queen eight checkmate idea here. I will say that. the pieces that he is looking at are not a knight. Yeah. Let, let's listen in. Knight. Let's listen in and see what's going on. So stressful all of a sudden. I know. If I move, he just takes that. Then I take. And then he takes. He thought about all of this already. He thought about <laughs> this already. <laughs> this is so unfair. <laughs> okay, if he moves the bishop, he has a chance. Uh, I don't have much time. I have a minute. Not only. the worst. It's okay. Though. It's a build yeah. three. It's a build three. You can stop the checkmate at least. 
And now, but now he only has one move, so he'll see it right away. And now it's game on again. What a weird game. Yeah. Yeah, because this has been such a weird game, has it not? I think it's a weird game. Well, XQC is, I think, I almost have better one here. Up unless, my e unless Easy with Aces finds one idea here, I which I think it's one trick possible to spot. And you're, you're talking sleeve. about the Knight B6, Queen A5 retreat? I think so, yeah. I call it. I love trying to translate a I know Lud does that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it's the, it was, sorry, one more time. Is it the parpentry? Par, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but he didn't find it. He gave a check that's not the best check, so XQC still has a chance. Right, and the problem with what he's doing is that XQC only that. has one move, so it's like XQC will right. see the move right away. That's the problem right. with, with these moves, is that the queen block it was the only move. The king move, it's the only move. So XQC right. doesn't have to actually find a move. He gets two free moves because it's an only option. Right. Now, to be fair, if I had this position, I think that I would actually, I think black is much better here. Don't yeah, move the king, around. please. Don't move the king. No, if he plays B6, king. he does. If he plays B6, he does. Okay. Okay. This is, oh, man, I, this I can't is think crazy. I don't know enough time. So in your mind, it'd be I think that was really bad, but uh, hey, do you want me to tell you? That the strategy is, might not be so easy on defense. Right, so the, there's actually one big problem here. If you look at this position, what's going to happen is black can trade the knight. So white's going to get those two pawns lined up in a row next to his king. But mm -hmm. then also he has this knight that's kind of wandering that's that's near the black king. And black can actually trap this knight by yep. attacking it with the king, the rook, or the bishop. All three, all three options would attack that knight. And the knight is trapped. He's going to lose that knight. So this is... Man, very, 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 very you know. tricky. Yeah, I feel like Finton's been doing all the work, and then after everything that happens, Hikaru still goes, yeah, I like black spot here. Yeah. So I, th I guess mm -hmm. he has, he, XQC's well, doing something right. Hikaru pointed out the unluckiness sort of is like he gave XQC all only moves. Like here, XQC can't not find this move. Like, it, you know, and then he can't not find this move. So he kind of got himself in a weird spot. Mm -hmm. Look at this right. move C5. Oh, the knight D5, though. Better yeah, to find a move that, you know, has a multiple options is what you're saying? Yeah, because when you only have one option, kind of, and it's not even just this one option, but the, it's good, good only options, too. Like, that yeah. makes it very difficult. And I think, especially at this level, the more opportunities your opponent has to make a mistake, the better off it is. Whereas when they right. only have one move, they can't make a mistake. They have to find the one move. I feel like you're getting free chess lessons, Lud. <laughs> Look, I'm ready, Pat. I'm like, it's like... I'm, uh, you know, I'm like Shaq. I'm on TNT now. You know what I mean? Like, I did my <laughs> tour. I got my championships. I was the biggest at the time. So, I was, was an old season. You know, I may, yeah. maybe I could play ball with these youngins, but, you know, I'm just taking my victory tour. Yeah. Um. All right. Okay, XUC okay. does find the check. And so, the only problem with moving the C-pawn is he kind of accidentally gave Finton, you know, a, a saving a saving <laughs> move. But... But it's it's still it's still tricky. The main issue is clock. Yeah. Oh, and that's a really bad move. What? All right. What do we want to do? Let's go check in with the uh, the kid in school that I didn't cheat off. But let's go look at him. <laughs> I think we're just going to not deal with this first. He has a sponsor for emails. Gonna lose another pawn though. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> I don't even understand that. He found knight d5. This is... Yeah. Now he's going to win the bishop. Right, and with that, he should win the game. We're going to take this. Yeah, it was an excellent move. move. Excellent, excellent find by Finton going knight to d5. Check first, saving his knight, and now he can take the bishop next move. And it would take some sort of catastrophic go collapse here. to not win the game. We're going to go here. Yeah. I feel like we should have won this a little bit easier. Yeah, probably you should have. Safety concerns me a little bit, but I don't see what he can do right now. Ooh, but but uh, XQC Ooh. gets the white pieces next, so a little different for him from Pog 1. Do you wish you had two games per match in Pog 1, Lug? Do you like that change? 
No, no. Uh, yeah, I think it's way better. I think only for the exact reason that no one can uh, make excuses. No Johns, as they say. Because, right. uh, you know, if you if you happen to roll black and then you lose your one game and you lose the whole right. match, that kind of sucks. So it just right. uh, gives you the opportunity. I'm sorry. I have to pause. Did you call me Lug? Lud. Okay, Lud. I was just seeing a bunch of Lugs in chat. <laughs> oh, in fact, <laughs> Lug is a cool nickname for you. What do you think? You're like a Lug. That's what my Brazilian soccer coach called me when I was on JV. <laughs> All right. He had a thick accent. And I thought it was his accent, and then he sent me an email, and he wrote, to lug. And, <laughs> and so he just never knew my name ever. All right, let's go see XQC's uh, potential final moments here. Cam, GG. Cam, I give my Transition into the loss. Did you mean, did you, did you, oh, guys, I, I didn't have enough time. Yo, did I get a BO3? BO3, right? Second game. Technically BO2, but Will yeah. give him a match two? Yep. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm talking to him. I think I had checkmates on one. He's running a game report. I don't think he was... I think was somewhere in that I had checkmates. Am I crazy? Mm -mm. I feel like. I don't even know if he had many checks. <laughs> yeah, he had, he had one chance. There was one chance where he could have been better, but it was very, very hard. Let, let's go back um, to that, yeah. Hikora, right here. After uh, Instead of the move C5, what, what was your thoughts? Mm -hmm. Or what should Black do? Yeah, I think Black should have traded the Knights here. Play Knight, knight takes Knight, Pawn takes. And then maybe, um, I mean, just bring the Rook over to the center of the board. Maybe Rook E8 is a move. Um, or something like King B7. Again, very advanced stuff, though. I mean, that's not something right. I, I would I would Get the expect. King out of Dodge and... Yeah, open up. A, just so you can open up the queen lines. But again, that's very, very advanced. Yeah. I would not expect anybody in this field to find that's it. That's a super strong idea because if, if somehow a car, if you did that with the battery, like suddenly it does mm -hmm. turn around. So he, I think he said he thought he had checkmate because he knew the, the potential here of, of the double stacked pawns. He, I think he saw this, but but there was no uh, no real concrete idea. Right. So. Well, he's running a game report. I think both of our players are are taking an impromptu break. He's analyzing his game, and uh, Finton has become a, <laughs> yeah, a DJ. Oh, Finton stream. He was just there a second ago, and look at his new um. By the way, I get credit for that because I taught him what the what the word Zugzwang was and what it meant in our first lesson. <laughs> and I was trying to describe. It's one of the things that makes chess a unique game is the fact that you have to move. There is no pass. You have to do something. And Zugzwang and his chat loved it. So there you go. Yeah, it's, I mean, I have to say, I've, I've been a big fan of uh, of Easy with Ace for quite a while now. Fenton's a very charismatic guy, very good poker player as well, I might add. He seems like whenever I watch a stream every other week, he uh, he wins like 20 grand. So the guy's the guy a beast. And I love the setup he has um, with this uh, disco ball, even when he's doing poker and not chess. So just, uh, <laughs> he's, just, he's a lot of fun to watch. He's OG too, I feel like. Well, compared to a lot of other streamers, like myself oh, at least. Oh, what a cute dog. Look at the do that's a that's a large animal. Oh, he's winning the crowd. He's winning the crowd you, of this dog. <laughs> do you and Cutie have a dog yet, Lud? Well, we got a dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's got I thought I saw the here. dog on a stream one time. He's such a whiny motherfucker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's one of those dogs that got too attached to the owner, and then every time she's not here, he's like an omega pussy. And all I want to do is hang out, and I just put my hand out, and he's like, "All right, man, whatever." Over here. All right. Well, Finn playing the Carol. We worked on this. We worked on the Carol. So he's um one of the things about the lessons with him is like he's been playing chess for so long. Wait, is I mean Finn he plays on chess.com like in the breaks of his poker streams. He's, he's been drinking beer, of, isn't he? He chinged yeah. the, the 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 camera. So I assumed it was a beer. You don't ching with non alcoholic. <laughs> all right. That, everybody knows that. Any classy European should. Wait, it's non alcoholic? No, I'm saying you always, you can't, you shouldn't ching with non-alcoholic beverages. Right. So I'm assuming it's a beer here. Uh, but like, it's late where he is, right? He's uh, Ireland, mm -hmm. like nine yeah, or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's drinking. No, hours, actually, like... he's in Malta. He's in Malta, Ludwig. He's, he's a tax cheat like you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, it's just, it's just smart business, Hikaru, at the end of the day. <laughs> Offshore accounts. Um... I just enjoy the state of Delaware. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> all its beauty. <laughs> uh, all right we're in it right this is it yeah this is uh he has a chance to do another cheese with 95 here maybe yeah it's a little nutty but we'll show it cheese with nuts 
-hmm. it doesn't work if black knows not to not to take again but right something like this should be fine but that's a hard thing to find i i don't i don't know that he'll go for the cheese probably just castle mm -hmm. i i don't like this opening choice uh from from Finton here. I think it's perhaps a little bit easier for White to play if he knows what to do with like castles and bring the rook to the center. But also, XUC violated one of the basic principles. He put this bishop in front of this pawn so this dark square bishop doesn't have a good way to come into the game. That's the, actually the reason you generally want to push the pawns in front of your king and your queen first that you have squares for your bishops to go to. You have diagonals. But By the way, it's an honor to highlight the ideas that you speak. That's what I'm doing. I'm just highlighting. Keep high, just keep saying moves. I'll keep highlighting. <laughs> now, ooh, now it's your turn. Ooh, ooh, but now ooh, you say ooh. things and I will highlight. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, but why? Right? Well, come on, Hikaru, come on. Because, like, oh, my God. Pushing out <laughs> to the five there. What, what I would say about this is that I think, objectively, at, like, a grandmaster level, it's probably okay to play like this. But there's a big danger... When, when you're newer to the game of overextending with your pawns and you're yeah. using your bishops and your knights too quickly and bring and because it's king again no development look at this position he's oh oh did he play knight c6 knight c5 uh -oh. here come here we go now we'll see if is nutty. Oh, we gotta from... listen in i think he sees it he just sat up in his chair check him out was that even worth it dude i kind of want to just feel like pushing actually i feel like pushing the pawn now his thing is annoying me. He, it's just, he's just annoying. <laughs> I, I don't. I hate doing this. This makes my king so vulnerable. I think this is one of the worst ones ever. But maybe I'm completely wrong. What do I know, dude? Like, look at this. It leaves me so vulnerable. Maybe that's like why I need mindset is always what's being attacked, not what to attack. Mm -hmm. Get my queen out of there. Is there like a switch you have to make, or do you just always my queen out, dude? That's fucking. I mean, I, I think I think you're looking at both gone. generally, but I, but I will stack. say again, I, I think this. that's the varying thing. I, is the more that this you is like play, a six pack sort of the less respect. Maybe respect is the wrong word, but the less you fear I your opponent's feel weird plans and ideas. When when my you when I'm six pack. I see. Once you stop blundering, you don't have to worry about what's being. Well, yeah, because I think what he's saying is he's always worried that is that he's missing something, that he's doing something right. wrong, and he's always gonna have some way to win the game. That there's always something wrong. You don't understand um, how anxiety-inducing chess is. When Can you're I bad use this, yeah. this to my advantage? Oh, I, I mean, I, I was uh, there was a time when I had these issues too. Oh yeah, man, you walked uphill both ways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. But, but I do want to add one thing. So, Danny, if you go back a couple of moves, I did want to point this out because. The one thing that I think is very important that perhaps XUC is having an issue with is he's he's not like re sort of remembering the patterns. Like he's played right. this Petrov opening many, many times. And the concept is the exact same here. Ludwig, you actually probably would recognize this, which is knight takes pawn. Yeah. Um, bishop takes queen. And then knight takes knight. And it's a check on the king and your knight is going to capture the queen next move. And this is, this is exactly what happened to him in another situation where it was a queen in front of a queen on this line and not the rook um, where he lost a very painful game. I before. mean, yeah, so I've done that against XQC before. And I think he's done it against me, just discovered check and just looking for like, mm -hmm. you know, that tactic. Well, you, you, tried to, you tried to actually get him with that trick yeah. in your final game. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He, yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, you remember that? Hikaru That's remembers it. everything, like you said. Crazy. You were right to call him out on the uphill both ways. Hikaru was better than me when he was eight. So yeah, yeah. Hikaru, I, that's why I, that's why I know he was lying because he said he read the worst piece <laughs> endgame menu when he's nine. Talking about how he remembers being bad. What was the worst you were at chess? You were like four. You don't even remember. It's, it's when I was seven, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tough year, dude. Tough year. Everyone behold you. In the chess seven. Club. Seven is the most powerful magical number, so it can't be tough. Mm -hmm. Can't be. Tough he had like year. his Naruto moment on the swing set. Not even GM <laughs> crying. The sad music plays. <laughs> Uh, by the way, in the game, though, XUC missed a free pawn. I don't know why yeah, he didn't take the pawn. Yeah, if you right go back here. two moves, he could have yep. just castles. It's Black's move. Yeah, sorry. Castles. Oh, he could have taken it. Oh, he had two chances. So he had that yeah. chance, and he also had a second chance. Wow. I think he's okay. been operating under, what did I do wrong this entire yeah. set? 
and it's been hurting him because he doesn't look but for But is that the facts. lack of sleep that he's more worried about his opponent's threats? Is it like the paranoia setting in with like, you know, like, or is it just that he hasn't played chess in a while? You, you, you know what I would say on that topic, Danny, and, and I think Ludwig can probably relate to this a little bit better than I can, um, which is, it's just one of those things like chess is so stressful. Like it, it, if you're not, if you're, if you're newer to the game, you like, you just, you, you assume that you're not smart or you're doing something wrong. It's just like, it's part of the psychology, I think, is that you just, you worry, you just, you're, you're worrying nonstop about what, what's, what, what can go wrong. Yeah, I think just like it's playing in PogChamp specifically where you're a competitor and it's not just your people watching. And if you lose, it's not even that bad. You just get a bunch of lull Ws in chat. Uh, it's it's way more stressful when you make every move because you don't want to do something super dumb. And, you know, you know a, a decent amount. Like, I think XQC knows a decent amount about chess. Uh, and so it's better to try to show it off and not make something super stupid happen. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it feels like it's just like, it, to me, I feel like it's like one of those things where it's like this ticking time bomb. You're, you're trying, like, you just feel like one of these wrong moves and it's just all going to blow up, it's, right. which, of course, is what makes chess so hard, honestly. I think in general, most people play worse, like, at these events. Uh, and maybe, they play I think worse in pod like, champs than they do when they're just playing on chess, like, streaming yeah. regularly, you're saying. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Like, if the same person they could beat regularly on stream, uh, they probably would do worse on in pod champs. Right. I think that's probably a thing, Icar, right? Like tournament nerves and like being able, like if you haven't done a tournament in a while, uh, you're a little right. rusty on tournament play. Yeah, and I would say even at the top levels, there are certain tournaments that are objectively more important than other tournaments. And the quality of play for most of the players tends to go down. It gets worse. It doesn't get better. So that's definitely true at all levels. Now oh, well, Fintan's the on passant. On passant. Gonna, we're going to have the question whether Fintan remembers on passant or not. We did not go over this in our lesson. You didn't go no. en passant? And honestly, I'm watching Fintan, and he doesn't see it. Oh. He didn't see it. He doesn't <laughs> see it. How do you miss en passant? That was, like, the biggest thing in the first block. It was en passant and Fianchetto, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One emo for both. That was, uh, that was a fail right there. No en passant. Well, he gets away with it. I mean, if you can get away with it, that's hype. Yeah, that's I think it's, it's hard to remember. That's his among easy. us. That's his among us practice. All right. He's imposter right there. He just went for it. He was like, I'm, 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 I'm crew member the whole way through. And he got away with it. Didn't get called yep. out. <laughs> nice. Yep. Well, now it's, now it's back. I mean, okay. Black has still got the big center, but if XQC just develops the knight, then this move C4 was really good actually. And he's, this is totally unclear again. Mm -hmm. This is another opportunity, I would say, as well for XUC to show that he is learning, he's progressing, because one of his right. biggest issues has been the lack of development and bring, using all the pieces that he has on the board. I right. still feel like he developed backwards. Am I, I feel like he put all his, like, pawns up and then brought out, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit dubious, but he's okay. gotten away with it. This is good. And now though. he's doing well. Yeah. For sure is quite... For sure, dubious. I thought it was. I like that he didn't take looking. two. Like he brought the knight up behind the pawn, so he's got that. And if he, if he puts a rook on c one or even d one right now, because he's recognizing that maybe this, mm -hmm. it might be a little sneaky for him to see that the rook on d eight is actually immediately threatening this pawn here. So he's got to recognize that. Right, but this game also, I, I like. Even though he's down on time, he's only down two minutes, so he's kept, the game is pretty pretty level. Right. Um, but I think I think he's doing well so far. Now I wonder if he's going to try to cheese him with f three here. Maybe one thing I've noticed three that uh, that bad players like me don't do is you just look through pieces. You just yeah. pretend they don't exist sometimes. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. right. Going it for the chat. F three would not be advised for the chat, but because if you don't take it, it's bad. But but yeah, maybe maybe go for it. Yeah, I think you should. I think you always go for attacks in these settings. Mm -hmm. Okay, if he plays F3 well, maybe now... This, this order works, too. This order is good, too. Play yeah. F3. I think this game's all about chump checking. All right? Let them prove that they know how to deal with it before you write it off. Right. I feel like when you're mm -hmm. good, you just don't even go for it because obviously it's not, you know, you have to set yourself up for success that they're not going to fall for. But here... Right, uh, hey, yeah, so, so like... So, so what I would say, yeah, so, so to put that, like, in the chess terms, like, 
you should always go for tactics. I think like tactics is sequences, a couple of moves where your opponents will uh, have the chance to make a mistake rather than trying to find normal sort of positional moves that you just improve pieces. At yeah. some point you should try to play for these tactical sequences of a couple of moves where your opponent can make a big mistake. Yeah, really bad players will blunder and let you win. And then like, okay, players, you have to let them beat you by doing tactics against them. Mm -hmm. And then good players, you just lose against. That's my experience. Yeah, the, the better the players are, the problem is like the these these sort of cheapo tricks, these tactics, they don't really work. So you have to like combine everything and use use like tactics, like then piece placement. It's just yeah, it's it's very hard, obviously. Mm -hmm. Just listening. The problem for XVC is that it's sorry, go ahead, Danny. No, I was saying I'm just listening to you guys. Love it. Let, but let, let's let's check in with XUC. Looks like he just went for a different kind of uh chump check, as Ludwig would say. Let's see what happens there. Like a Russian. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that's out of bad. How ass. do I feel about this? <laughs> if he sinks that knight in on a on b5, that's what Ricardo was saying. It moved like a4, right? What about I'm this? I can act on my rook. Danny, every opportunity. I'm playing for back rank, Ricardo which he's not prepared for because he has no plans push like I do. Who knows? Okay, if he plays a4 here, he is playing like a Russian. He has you to. You don't play like that. Move. You want to do that? It's the only move. Okay, here it comes. I, do I push pawn. He takes this for free. That's no, no, a disaster no, no, already. No, no, no. You guard it twice. No. Yeah, he does, he's not looking he at see the knight retreat. Because the knight's being attacked, sometimes, like, look, I at our level, back. we I just don't back. value it as a piece that can attack. Think about this. Think about this. If I stay here and I'm stubborn and I push this, he takes that and I'm my, my queen's in threat. I move her. He pushes my dude and gets that too. Well, that's ter nah. I'm not. No, that's. I'm just gonna go back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Even if I go back, he still has the same option. The music makes me just on the edge of my seat of whether. He's I don't have time for this anymore. <laughs> the funniest part about this is if he goes back, he makes it into reality. Right. Mm -hmm. it's the one thing he's worried about. Everybody's freaking out. What's happening? <laughs> yeah. Is he going to see it or not? Yep, clock. Uh, I guess I get, all I have to do is... Uh... I think Move he's back. already written that knight not protecting his truth, so he'll never go back to see it. That sounds well, you gotta think right. it's a free piece. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, takes, takes. Ah! Okay. Wait, do, do it. Do he it. might still do it because he can't read the line deep enough that he doesn't know right. if it's even that bad. And for then him. Finton won't take the pawn. Whatever, dude. I, 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 I lose a pawn here. Oh, yes. Yes. Wow. I it's crazy. Pawn, he did it and said, I, I, I'm going to lose the pawn, and he's not going to. Wait, no. It's actually not even that, not even that complicated. I saw it. Yeah. Finally, he saw it after Why doing it. Why did so hard this when it was not even out of a move? Now, will Fenton find the winning variation here is the question. So I think this yeah. is a good question for you, Ludwig. Is yeah, there a good move for, move for black, black here? Oh, gosh. Okay, Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, got it. Black in this spot, real quick, real quick, real quick. If I had to guess, black in this spot has to do something. All right, flip the board for me. Flip the board for me. That is not it. Was that it? That's not it. I wouldn't have done that. That's, That's silly, right? He could have moved the bishop over with the pawn supporting it, and you hit the queen and the rook. If the queen moves, you lose the rook. If you move the queen, you lose. Or you, yeah. Give me five more seconds. I'm right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you call that a skewer. So, so Ludwig, when I said that XUC was playing like a Russian, the reason I said that is because right now you see this white knight. Yeah. It's guarded by this pawn. So it's this is what's called an outpost. There's no piece that can remove the knight from the square because it's supported by a pawn. Okay. Like your bishop, your can't attack it. The rook and the queen can't attack it because the knight just ha it's completely guarded. It's got that and outpost. Russians just do that. It's like a thing. Russians it's a very do. positional concept. Yeah, yeah, the outpost. I see. So, so Danny would know. He, he lived in Russia. He lived in Russia? Or, well. For no, for a studied. summer that I would not like to forget. A lot of good things happened in that summer. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Go off, Danny. Well, I mean, it's a different show. That's a different yeah. show, but... Uh...
This is like, uh, what's that story? The uh, talking the about some first were you time the machine anyway. two point um, You know what? It could be the first time we're gonna have an XQC Armageddon right here, because I think XQC well, we got a chance. That. Danny Ludwig against XQC was was Armageddon, I think. Well, it was an Armageddon, yeah. but it was a it was a single elimination. Yeah. But what color would you take in Armageddon? Pop quiz. So Armageddon, Armageddon is the one where you have to win as white, but you get mm -hmm. more time. Correct. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I I would take white. Okay. I that think makes sense. Love yeah, it. I just think I, I I the way I play, I just look for mates. Even if they're cheesy, I just look for them. That's pretty much the only thing I do, and I never worry about defense ever. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Sounds that's like fantastic that's advice. That you're you're full Bill Murray Space Jam. You don't play defense. I think I think people don't look for checkmate enough in these games. I think they're <laughs> always concerned about position and things like that and the basic principles, which is good and dandy. But they never once think to themselves like, "Oh, how am I going to even checkmate?" Uh, right. Love it. And they just hope they get to an end game that is their advantage. What's an end game, right? You know, tell you what it is. It's an overrated Marvel movie. That's what it is. Uh, uh, I'm with true. you. True true overrated that ending i mean you can't just do that all right XCC XCC almost had it queen by the way if he hadn't traded the knight for the bishop and he had played this queen check and queen check idea without trading the knight for the bishop he would have been much better maybe even winning he but now it, it's though. just a draw but black can just go back with the king and it's uh it's, it's gonna be a repetition i don't th oh you think he goes for that I i'd be surprised i feel like nobody has done that in these tournaments. And it's a smart thing to do, but just the mm -hmm. idea of going for draws is not intuitive at all. Well, it, well I think it's... Right. Plus here, it's not really the smart thing. I mean, he knows it's a two-game match. If he goes for the draw, he actually loses the match. So I think you're right. I think right. He, he has to do something. Yeah. That's a good move, though. He's opened up new lines of check that would defend this pawn. I mean, you know, if Queen D1 is played, it doesn't work, but, you know... What's the oh, added crap. time per move? Five seconds. Yeah. All right. I think we should check in for his final moments here, whether he wins or loses. All right, let's do it. Let's see what Fitton thinks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I'm in a beer. I mean, if, you, if I lose from here, I'm quitting the competition. <laughs> Book it in, Han. We'll say, I feel like Fenton's doing the thing where your opponent plays fast, so you play fast too. Right. But he has so much time. Um, like, we can just run. And then, so if he checks right, here like and then checks here. Take a moment. Like, can he? I'm just going to go here, I think. <gasps> oh, no. And he can't check me the next move. I might be, in, I might be just being paranoid right now. Yeah, you're being is he just coming to attack this? Like, is that what's going on here? We have loads of time. Everyone take a deep breath. Let's go in the Moneymaker Lounge real quick. There it is. Where is it? Let's go in the Moneymaker Lounge wow. real quick. Switching scenes? Let's just, everyone, let's take a couple of He's deep breaths. You ready? Really? You ready? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> All right, is that on, yeah, Chris Moneymaker? Let's not let's not let's not let him checkmate me down here. If you're not going to twitch.tv slash so much time. and giving him a follow. If I go like this that, and this, it's game you. over, but I just don't know go if there's over there like, and so give him a follow. Here, that was epic. And then I go here, he checks here. I take like I don't I don't see it, but I'm a bit paranoid, and Danny always tells me I'm running away from ghosts that don't exist. <laughs> I do tell yeah, him. I could just take this and then he can't even take that. Throughout all, this. all right, all right, all right. That's just. Okay, he just gave a draw. It's fine. That ghost it's was It doesn't matter. He still wins. He has yeah. 12 seconds on the clock. Uh, okay, so that's actually going to win. <clears throat> oh, Queen E3 is a nice move. If he plays We're it. We're going to lose this pawn, but it just doesn't matter. We're going to go here. We're going to promote. We're all gonna have a good day. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. I don't think that's how seconds work, but he is ahead. <laughs> oh man. Uh oh. Two queens are better than one. Wait, no, it's. Oh. oh oops. Check me. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. 
All right, three blunders again. Don't think we covered ourselves in glory, but hey, we got the job done. We can open up Discord. I didn't have anything open. That was a great, great entertaining look. XQC uh, was talking about forcing a draw in his stream at the end there, but I don't know if he knows that it's not actually best of three. It's best of two, which right. means a loss and a draw is still a loss. Um, right right exactly it is yeah. confusing because there is like a tiebreaker so it feels like a best of three yeah but mm -hmm. if you're up 1.5 it's still a, i guess the, the the act of drawing is unique to chess all right well right. uh the uh, the act of drawing didn't occur but we do have another match coming up they've both gone live they're streaming don't go anywhere we've got more ludwig more hikaru and more pog champs when we come back and we're back I'm here joined by this. by both of our players xqc and easy with aces guys uh thank you for joining us first of all and what is going on um am i supposed to hear them sorry what you're, you're we're, we're talking to you right now this is live we're live xqc we're live this is the he can't hear you so it doesn't matter <laughs> can he not hear us no. can you hear us now he looks great he's, he's adding a lot just with that smile i don't know if supposed to hear them or not <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Audio is not set up properly. Text because I think in Zoom. Okay. Let uh, us know if you can hear us, man. Oh, that guys, I can't hear you guys. It'll take a second. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, we'll... we had this issue with Hafu yesterday too. So it's it... bottom oh, left yes. carrot, and then uh, what is speaker, so right? confusing? Well, I'm going to wait for like twenty four hours or something. Let's give him a little break. Oh, I got it. Boom. Yo. Yo. Yo, what's up? What's Yo. up? Yo, what up, what up? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, li live troubleshooting. But uh, hey, well, speaking of doing things live, you, you played super well the last couple games. Have you been playing games when you're not streaming on chess.com? How much have you been practicing over the last month? No, I'm a little disappointed in myself. I've, I've been, um, I, listen, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm a hard worker when I'm committed, but um, the, it's been a little bit of short... Uh, shortcomings with that uh, with chess i i could have done way more um I'll are you mad at all at your prep today because you stayed up for 21 hours before playing <laughs> hey, hey Ludwig, Ludwig, Ludwig. Uh -huh. yeah i know i know you're from youtube and you, you think you know stuff like i did i'm a <laughs> streaming i'm a streaming warlord okay yeah i i, I don't need to to prep for my stream and and i'm win, talking get my... about going to sleep before <laughs> playing a tournament game you took one minute on your second move game one I oh. thought you fell asleep at that point. I'm not gonna lie. I was just worried about. Look, they say sleep no, exhaustion. It, it, it's more just wondering about your yeah, your your exhaust. I mean, are yeah. you tired or are you feeling good? I feel fantastic. Listen, can I? Uh, I don't want. I don't want to create drama. Listen, this way, this guy up top is like a chess caster GM over there. Probably I am over there. What the heck is Ludwig doing here, casting it? Dude, you're, <laughs> like, you're like 900. <laughs> I beat your ass. Oh, <laughs> in a tiebreaker, like three hey, minute match. If you want to look at the biggest chess streamer of all time, it's not Hikaru. It's not you. It's me. All right. That's why they bring out the big guy. All right. The okay. big guns. I'm, I'm glad that I'm getting interviewed by uh, my, my coworker Ludwig. Thanks so much, man. Uh, no, I, did, I, didn't, I, didn't I, did, I did not prep that much. I could have done way more. I could have been better. Um, but it's been fun though. It's so I, I, you go for it. Go ahead. Hey. No, I was just going to ask, um, in, in general, how did you filter out these games? Because even if you haven't been um, spending a lot of time on chess, it seems like you have improved relative to when you last played. So did you feel like you were playing better today than like in the previous pog champs? Or do you think that experience maybe helped you as well? I feel like I had an idea of where my pieces were going and I had like a flow of things of like, my pieces are moving. I'm moving forward, not making big mistakes. But I feel like he was thinking a bit more ahead and he's like, yeah, if he does this, that, this, well, I'm going to do that. I that. made lots of mistakes, dude. I made lots of mistakes. I've already looked will, like. Yeah, we listened in on both of you. I think XQC you gave uh, Finton a lot of credit. Uh, and there was certain times you could have, like, pushed an advantage. Just, like, listening to you guys. Like, Finton, we'd listen in on him. And he would just, he was always, like, anxious and nervous. And you both were at points. But really? I, think... I was sitting back having a beer. I thought I was nice. Well, and at one point, he moved his queen up. You Wait. basically secured the game. Wait. And you were freaking out about that. You that... had to move to your couch cam. That's my opponent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's yeah, going yeah, on, man? Yeah. Oh, what's up, man? Wait. So funny. <laughs> people, people said he's like a poker player. I thought it was like gonna be like 
like some like 20 year old dude with like a hat with flames right. on it dude <laughs> no that's I just your, that's I, 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 poker streamer yeah okay, i thought i was the host <laughs> no, I know, I'm not going to dress like I a more of a host. I wore, I wore a dicky bow yeah, to you really uh, celebrate the occasion. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah, you did outdo us all in the uh, in the commentator attire. Yeah, you, I, you I did. Told... And the extra streams, uh, the extra scenes you had. We had the money maker room and the disco room. Fenton, you came, you busted out all the stops here today. I was a yeah. little bit paranoid when I first changed the room that it could be looking like that I was changing it for, you know, to like, I don't know, cheat or something. So like I quickly changed back and panicked. But I was like, you know, it wasn't my move when I was doing it and stuff. So I thought it was you're, fine. You're seeing I, I, I got scared just... for a little sec. Yeah, that's what I see, Danny. You know it. You coach me. You tell me yeah. I see problems that aren't there. All right. I, I don't Danny. have any chess questions for you guys, honestly. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, your guys' your guys's games were fun. And XQC, I mean, I know... Like you said, you were uh, maybe maybe you didn't think you put as much time in as, as you should have, but I I agree with Hikaru. It felt like you you played you played better than the first event, and I was wondering if the experience paid off. Are you feeling at least more relaxed? Like you're not nervous about your matches when you play? I, 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 well, I feel pretty good. Like uh, I I was happy with like um I I didn't feel like I he got me like oh no the fourth I didn't think about oh no right. the back the back rank he got me like I. I didn't feel gotten, and I feel like if I, if I, if I had crafted my skill and I spent like more time, the, these small details would have would have mattered. Like knowing how to develop, how to push my pawns, like knowing what I'm looking for, the sort of patterns that are that are going to come up that I will use later on or something, uh, and seeing well, those flare up, you know, like when can we expect a coaching session? Can we expect a coaching a coaching session with you, XQC? Yeah, I'll do it with Ikaru, but I got I got lazy and, and lately it's been it's been a. <laughs> It's been it's been an experience. Uh, I'll be honest Check your it. DMs. It's so sad. Hey. Car is just reaching out every day, like, hey man. X, X, you see, I think I, I think Ludwig like, is so offering to coach. Nice. What's up? I think Ludwig was offering to coach. Is that what you were doing, Ludwig? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, uh, no, well, well, I, I look at my profile. Gross. My rating goes like up and down. I got want my rating to go up, not not, not <laughs> oh, down. Okay. <laughs> look, look, look. I'm just a commentator this time. I've already done my tour. Uh, you know, I'll take on a few students maybe in the future. I'm a commentator. Uh, this there was, can, can I add one last thing though, chess related, just for XUC specifically, which is that I, I don't know if you can bring up the board, Danny, very quickly, yep. or from that second game. There was just I, I, one thing I already that's know very which one you're talking about. Yeah. Is that there are certain patterns that repeat themselves. Like you see it in one game, and it happens in another. So like in this game. I, I don't know if you can see the board right now in Zoom, uh, but there was this one position. If you just pull I'm, up the I'm Zoom screen. Yeah, yeah I see that. Yeah, see, you could have played this knight takes pawn move. And after black captures the queen here with the bishop, you can take the knight. And you're attacking the king with your rook, so it's a check. So you can go get it again. Yeah, and you get, the, get his oh. queen on the next move. That's sweaty. And this is a pattern that you had in a couple of other games as well. So it's just something like when you see this mistake, like... Just try and remember this idea with this, with, with like these checks and and these discovered attacks or, or yeah, the bosses, it, I should it's call. like a pseudo sacrifice, yeah. right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vinton, I was a little, I was a little disappointed when when you missed that, buddy. But I'm, hey, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Overall, dude, seriously, stuff. you played I great. Saw, saw yeah, sometimes I see a piece and I'm like, that's a threat. That's a threat. That's a threat. And I, I never compute it as like I, it could maybe be a tool to to get something out of it, you know. Right. And, uh, I felt like you were always, well, the way you're talking was just always defensive. And you're like, and a lot of the times it, you were good and everything was square, but you thought you had done something wrong and you could have just attacked more. Yeah. I, I kind of just felt like I, I haven't been in that pattern like, uh, like enough times to be mm-hmm. comfortable with it. That's all. Mm-hmm. Right. But I, I would say in general terms, that is true. Is like, you, you, I think this applies even to like uh, Fenton, for example, where you always assume there's something wrong. You, you assume you're missing something because always. you're new to the game or you're, yeah. you're, your opponent, they, they set some trap that you don't see. But for the vast majority of the time, you're doing completely fine. So I think confidence is a big, big role and just trying to be aggressive and attacking, especially for you, XQC, makes, makes more sense because you're very good at that. It's more yeah. of an instinct thing and, and you have those instincts to attack yeah. your opponent's pieces. Yep. All right, guys. More comments. Well, thanks for having me on and inviting me to GG, boys. Girls. <laughs> Thank you both for joining us. We got we got a match coming up now between the Mountain and Waga, but you guys were awesome, and uh, we'll we'll probably catch up with you after your Much next love. match. All right. All right. This See you later. Later. Bye. 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 Bye